Quantitative research is the systematic analysis of measurable data and the application of statistical, mathematical or computer methods. With the use of sampling techniques and the distribution of online questionnaires, polls and surveys, quantitative research gathers data from current and potential clients. Now that we understood what is the definition of quantitative data, let's discuss what are we going to discuss today. We, will, we have already discussed about what is quantitative research method, examples of quantitative research. After that, what are the methods in quantitative research and what are the characteristics of quantitative research, advantages and disadvantages. Coming to example, a poll of teenagers was performed to examine the effect of using mobile phone on kids. Young people and teenagers between the ages of 15 and 30 make up the survey sample. While the youngsters are being educated via their mobile devices, they are also being spoiled because of the content is inappropriate for young children. So the topic of whether it is advantageous to offer mobile phones to children or not was posed by 150 respondents of whom 100 were men and 50 were women. The response includes the 7 point scale option with 7 denoting a strong agreement, 6 with agreement, 5 with mild disagreement, neutral agreement and 3 with moderate disagreement, 1 with strong disagreement. So this is how a quantitative survey is conducted. This data helps to gain insight into the societal mindset and gain conclusion according to that. Let us take up another example. Every firm that wants to conduct customer satisfaction survey can do so by using customer satisfaction template. Using the, this type of survey, a company can gather quantifiable information and metrics on the perception that the customers have of the brand or company based on a variety of factors including product quality, cost, and customer experience. Regardless of the types of research, there is always one thing common in every type of research that is data. Data is omnipresent. Let me convey how Simply Learn can help you to master it. Please check out the course on data analytics in collaboration with IBM with real type projects and business case studies. Link is given in the description box below. Enroll now. Now comes important types of quantitative research. First is correlational research, survey research, descriptive research and experimental research. Let's learn every one of them in detail. First is correlational research. In order to create a connection between two related things and ascertain how one influences the other, correlational research is used. A researcher will need at least two different groups to do this. Although this kind of research does not go as far as to analyze the various patterns, it will be able to spot trends and patterns in the data. Survey research. The most basic tool for all quantitative research methodology is survey research. The research's primary goal is to comprehensively explain the traits of a specific population or group of populations. Both small and large businesses frequently use this study to comprehend their clients, needs and opinions of their products and merchandise. Descriptive research. The goal of descriptive research is to describe how a variable is currently behaving. Descriptive research seeks to describe and interpret the current state of individuals, environments, customers, circumstances or events. And the last one is experimental research. As its name implies, experimental research typically relies on one or more theories. It is predicated in one or more theories, known as real experimentation, and it applies to scientific method to determine the cause and effect link between a number of study related variables. Moving on to quantitative research characteristics. First is structure tool. What is structure tool? Structure tools such as surveys, polls, or questionnaires are used to gather quantitative data. Using such structured methods helps collecting depth and actionable data from the survey respondent. Second is sample size. Quantitative research is conducted on a significant sample size that represent the target market. Sampling methods have to be used when deriving the sample to fortify the research objective. Measurable data, typically non-numerical forms such as tables, charts and graphs are used to portray quantitative data. 
This makes it simple to comprehend the information that has been gathered and to demonstrate the reliability of the market tracer. These are the main characteristics of a quantitative data. So what are the advantages of using quantitative research? First is swift data collection. Quantitative research looks at a sample of people who represent a wider population. Information from these participants is gathered using a survey or another quantitative research technique. The application of statistics facilitates and accelerates the process of data analysis and pattern discovery. Scope of data analysis. This study approaches or allows for a broad range of data acquisition because of statistics. Gather and collect reliable data. What do you mean by that? The results that are produced through data analysis and presentation in numerical form are quite reliable. They provide a clear accurate and honest representation of the study that was actually done. Quantitative research is done in circumstances when the researcher foresees the controversy. The quantitative technique allows researchers to concentrate on a particular population wide fact that they want to explore. This approach is also helpful when a number of data points are highly sought after by a specific population. It is a procedure that enables us to comprehend the social context of the motivation guiding our choices, activities or behavior. These are the advantages. Now let's concentrate on disadvantages of quantitative research. This approach disregards the significance of social phenomena. A specific hypothesis can be proved or refuted using the quantitative approach replies to specific queries. It is unconcerned with the reasons behind why people express their opinions or make decisions. Sometimes it can be misleading. Many individuals believe that quantitative research is more trustworthy or scientific than observational qualitative research since it is based on numbers. Both type of study, here I mean qualitative and quantitative research, nevertheless have the potential to be fallacious or biased. More expensive, this process is very expensive compared to qualitative research. Creating data for independent research or surveys are highly expensive. We have already made a video on qualitative research. Please check out that. People are frequently hired by researchers to help with the process of gathering and evaluating the data. Even gaining access to enormous databases and protecting secondary data can be costly. Researchers who employ the quantitative approach must proceed under the presumption that every response they receive from surveys, tests and experiments are not alike. It's very difficult to predict, right? As there are no face-to-face -face interactions while using this method, interviewers or researchers cannot evaluate the validity of each outcome. After learning quantitative research, one thing is for sure that it has many applications. So what are the applications? It is used in psychology, economics, demography, sociology, marketing, health and development, gender studies and political science. By definition, in mathematical sciences such as physics is also quantitative. However, the context in which the term is used here is different. That's all about quantitative research. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, please subscribe to the Simply Learns channel and share the video with your friends. Thank you. Keep learning. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.